in my experience, I've created a dozen of websites. I've done it for work. I've done it for university. I've had to do it for different projects. And each time and almost every time, I will have a problem with time management and actually spending that time in doing it. And also, it's just a pain in the neck. But what if I told you that you could use AI to help create that dream website and do it in only in just a few moments, minus a couple of tweaks and stuff that you can do? Well, you can, and that is with Ready. So jump into the description below and open it up. It's very, very easy and simple to get started. And I'm going to show you today how to do that. So let's go ahead and jump straight in. So here we are now. I'm already on my account because I've already used it. Uh, and what would you like to design today? Here, you're going to des describe your needs for a single page, but that's going to be like your style, your features, and the purpose of the website for all of the best results. So you can even also reference an image as well. And you would do that just by, if you see right here, select one page for reference, and you can do that. And you can even, if you don't feel like typing it out, that, that prompt, uh, you can use your microphone as well and you can upload an image right to you so you can use all of this as well and you can even check out some templates but we're not going to be using templates today i'm going to show you how to create it from scratch and just like anything done with ai you need to have a good prompt and for example a good prompt is going to be like this one and i'm just going to tweak a little bit too so i'll go ahead and paste i want to create a website about me who works in hospitality more than 20 years of experience here i don't want to put hospitality i want to be a little bit more specific so for example i want to i want to say catering who works in catering for more than 20 years of experience my idea is to be able to work on my own doing parties birthdays etc in private homes offering my experience so this is what we do now all you have to do is click send now when you click send it's thinking about all of the page structure the the architecture of the website so your header sections the about me sections all of this now don't worry if it's coming up with something you can always tweak it right so you can kind of come in here so if you want to edit something you can say for example social media links or uh, i don't know um client reviews with pictures maybe you don't want that you can do that too you can say hey take out the client reviews or if you want to add something the same thing applies now if you agree or when you do become you would just click here and generate and we're going to let it generate now it takes a few seconds for me because my internet's not the greatest uh, but over and all you get the idea of it right so uh add reference images for better results when starting your designs and now we're just going to wait and let it go ahead and start creating the page and then we'll preview it okay super so now we have our website now you can take a look and go over everything from here uh we see my services page we can see the culinary portfolio which is really really good and of course we could change it here just by telling what to change like to be a little bit more specific is a must right so one task at a time and if you for example you can see like the logo for example like how would we change that here so we'll click on the selector and then we can go and when we come over up oh, one moment there we go click on this we could change the text to something else like uh we could say mm, tasty eats just for example and then we can save it and then it's going to change that and now it's working on it you can see and anything that you're wanting to do or to change there we go tasty eats uh we could also do the selector like if we click on this photo now we can change the image as well and we could even put a link to something else it could even be like a telegram link or something else but a hyperlink so anything hyperlinked uh we can do that uh the same thing um right here uh i will show you so uh, selected area and James Harrison here we could change the image or my services as well and let's go down here I'm just going to unclick this and there we go let's birthday celebrations let's do that so I want to change this photo and we can go to image now when we do this we can replace it with our own images especially if you already have yours we can remove the background or we can even generate a background so here is using AI, of course, and we say, please, um, I'm not going to say please, but we could say, uh, 
city knights or i don't know like um uh, we can say childs play playground for example daytime generate background just to kind of give you an idea so um it could be a child's playground that's pretty important because maybe i want to for birthday celebrations be a little bit more specific aiming at children or whatever it be the case but just to kind of highlight the power of it uh this is what we're going to do and we're waiting for this birthday there we go now they're all here but you can kind of see it's the child's playground and you can kind of see that how that would work uh here now even if you just have a picture of your own cake for example uh you could remove the background if you have like a not so okay background and then you can generate a background specific to what you want right uh and then that's how we would do it so i'm just going to exit out of there uh and what about exporting it for example so here you can get the code the html code right here and then you can do it that way you can share it as well and when you're sharing it it's going what it's going to do is like load up your web page so you can kind of like take a look at it a little bit in depth right uh okay and exporting it here you can export to creatine as well so you can we'll export it and start doing it uh, it there and everybody can work on it. All right. So what else have we done now? This is pretty bland. Let's say I want to elevate your private dining experience, right? We want to change the header for that example, right? So let's go here and make some effects for it. So change the second line in the title with a typewriter effect. Uh, yeah. Now the second line should change between growth, conversion, retention, use different uh, pastel colors for each word. Now we could do that and click. And now we're going to let it start adding that effect. So this is going to be here and we'll let that take its time. All right, super. And now we have the typewriter effect. So it's pretty quick, elegance, and it's changing each time into the different color. Now we could stop that, we could take that out uh, however you want. Uh, but let's just say we want to make an edit it like the, the effect is pretty fast. Uh, maybe we want to make it two times slower, uh, where you can just click on there. So right now it's too fast. And you can be specific or keep to one color, for example, with this effect. And let's see how the effect. There we go. And you can adjust it such as this. Now, another thing that's important with any website, especially if you're offering a service, is the forms. Now, let's talk about the forms like this is right here. Now, you can change this too. The same thing is going to apply. Anything on the page can be done with a selector. So if you want to change that form in that way, uh, that's how we would do it. But uh, here's where you can kind of edit the forms. So, for example, if you click on form, uh, you're going to see everything else. Now, this is test. This is from another one uh, that I have. Uh, let's just go back. And this is where you're going to find all of your messages, right? So, uh, but let's talk about changing that and setting that up. So if we go to selector and we go here, now we can click form and here we can click an existing form uh, and we could do it here and then, or a new form, right? So whichever be the case, and then you would just save it. So I'm going to go to here and then reselect it now our forms are set up and it's up oh, it's operating so i hope you add a form submission functionality here's the modifications and there you go and of course if you uh go back to where we were you'll see everything else if you want to create a new one uh for example but we could see here this is just in the test public uh, uh published project uh and this is the form you can have an email reminder and you can even export it as well. So just that's where you're going to find everything. So now you know how to create it and it's just a few moments. So don't waste your time. Jump in the description and go to ready right now and really start having fun creating your website. Enjoy using AI and get that dream website that you've been longing for.